Known as America's finest city, San Diego boasts more than 27 miles of beaches and near-perfect weather year-round. San Diego is home to the historic Gas Lamp Quarter, the Hotel del Coronado, and the Maritime Museum with its famous collection of tall ships. Today on San Diego's Oceans of Fun, we meet Susan and Emil Dopiera, who live and sail their Hairshaw 55 schooner, Raven, in San Diego Bay. Living on a boat is uh, basically the same as living on land. You don't really give up anything. It's kind of a trade-off. You, you don't mow lawns and you don't repair storm gutters, but you do a little sanding and varnishing instead. But the living in itself is the same. It's just maybe a little bit more exciting. Uh, you can move your home quite readily. Uh, you continuously find new things to see. It's not the same scenery around you at any time and people say well isn't the ocean kind of boring and it's it's quite the opposite of that it's a great lifestyle and people who say they've always dreamed about going to sea and we get a chance to talk to them i say go don't wait don't let it go by it's it's a great experience and, and a wonderful life San Diego is home to a huge boat building industry with the capacity to build and repair everything from Navy ships to super yachts, racing sailboats, and even high performance rescue craft. Today, we're talking with Vessel Assist San Diego about one of their high speed rescue boats. Yeah, our fleet consists of, uh, of four boats. Uh, one of them is a 7.8 meter rib craft mitigator, it's our fast response boat. We purchase it to respond to emergencies. If we get a call that a boat is taking on water, going on the rocks, uh, someone's life is in danger, we wanted to have a boat that we could get out there really quick and get the situation under control. The boat is, is well built. The boat handles exceptionally well. Uh, it handles the seas. It's a, it's a very comfortable ride. The boat is a deep V. Uh, it's able to cut through the seas. The fact that it's a, it's a rib, rigid hull inflatable, uh, helps in, um, in shock mitigation. The boats are designed to, to help handle the seas. They're very seaworthy, they're very safe. The advantage of, of the rib craft, and uh, especially this one, it's uh, once again 7.8 meters long. It's not very wide, it's somewhat of a narrow boat. It's deep V all the way through. Uh, what that does is it gives it the ability to handle the seas really well. It uh, softens the the right when it comes off the wave and land, the deep V softens the, the right. It also gives it amazing maneuverability. Some boats, especially uh, ribs that aren't the deep V, when you put them into a hard turn, they tend to skip. Uh, you lose traction and, and they'll skip along the top of the water. This one grabs and just makes the turn, which is ideal for surf conditions. Uh, you need to be able to real quickly turn, you need to be able to real quickly get out of the, the dangerous situation, uh, turn the valve into the seas, and the combination of its uh, horsepower, the twin engines, and the hull design make it ideal for them. The boat is equipped with a Raymarine C120 navigation system. It's an excellent system. Everything is integrated into, into one screen and it's uh, rugged. I mean, the boat takes uh, a lot of punishment out there, which makes it for, for an excellent tool. The boat also came equipped with a David Clark communication system. It's very similar to what's used on, on aircraft. It's a headset that incorporates the VHF, uh, cell phone, and the stereo system in all through the, the headset. And on a boat like that that you're doing, you know, 25, 30, even 40 knots, uh, being able to communicate is critical. Because of all the outside noise, it's very difficult. With that communication system, communications are just absolutely wonderful. The standard horizon VHF radio that we have on the boat 
is also great. Because of it's an open, unprotected cockpit, we have the radio itself mounted under the console. It comes with a remote mic. Everything that you can do on the radio, you can do with, with the mic, and also uh, waterproof, so it's a great tool. The boat is equipped with uh, Ullman shock mitigating seats. Uh, they were designed by Dr. Ullman in Sweden for high-speed craft in rough seas. Working in combination with the boat, the seat, and your legs and the position the seat puts you in, it really is an amazing, an amazing ride. That boat is, um, is equipped with a twin Johnson 150 horsepower two-stroke military spec engines. It can do upwards of 45 knots. Um, the acceleration on it, because there are two strokes, is, is incredible as well. You open the thing up and it goes from zero to 30 knots in practically no time at all. As a private business, uh, we don't necessarily have unlimited funds like you would think of rescue agencies like the Coast Guard, military, government agencies, that type of thing. Uh, all the equipment that is on the boat is affordable is intended for pleasure boaters as well and we put it through the test and uh, in doing so we have been very very pleased with all the equipment that, that's on the boat. In our next segment we meet Fred Cook, president and owner of Schaefer Marine, known for the legendary strength of their hardware. I own a company called Schaefer Marine that makes sailboat hardware. And I think it's important for me to stay involved at, at all levels in the sailing environment. The boat has to be set up to go offshore. All of our gear is predictable. We want people to be safe. Um, this is what Schaefer's about. We want to make boats easier to sail, we want you to be safe, we want all of our gear to be predictable and overbuilt and conservative um, so that when you rely on it, you can rely on it. And that's, that's what we're really all about. This boat is set up to do single-handed sailing. We make a lot of products for single-handed sailing or short-handed sailing, husband and wife teams. In this case, we put a roller furling boom on it. Jib furlers are on board, all the Schaefer hardware on board. I believe in that because um, I think it lends credibility to Schaefer's statement. We actually use the stuff that you use. Now, I think it's important when you're in the marine business to become involved. I mean, it's very easy to get bogged down in the day-to-day -day management of the company. But in our case, we're trying to produce better gear we want to know what the customers are running into. I think it's important for us to be out on the water to do a really good job of testing our gear and knowing what people are going to run into. We should have tested all the gear before you ever get your hands on it, and I think we have. This is, um, this is what we take pride in. It's, it's part of why we spend the money and the engineering time and, and have the passion for what we do is that um, we're out there on the water, and I think you know what's good for our customers is that they um, they get that experience from us before they ever buy the product. <laughs>